Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome to Hack My Growth. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the impact of NLP on SEO. Hey, thanks so much for joining us. If this is your first time, we would love for you to hit the subscribe button. Each and every week we post a new video on how to take advantage of all the amazing things that the digital marketing atmosphere has for us and how we can leverage them to help grow our business. And today is no different. Today we're going to be talking about NLP and its impact on SEO. Now you might be wondering, okay man, what's with all of these you know, acronyms? What, what do these mean? So NLP stands for uh, a lot of things, but in this case it's actually going to stand for Natural Language Processing. Now NLP is a very cool machine learning tool and capability that we have available now because of big data. Big data has exploded over the last couple of years, and now we can leverage that data to understand text like we've never understood it before, understand websites like we've never understood them before, understand multimedia assets like we've never had an opportunity to do before. So what's its impact on SEO? Well, one of the biggest impacts it has is Google is using NLP to better understand the web and website assets. And because they can better understand them and categorize these different pieces of content, it's going to rank differently because the algorithm is going to understand it differently. And this is a little bit more of how Rank, rank Brain is working and impacting search in a big way. So if we look at natural language processing, there's a number of things that's actually going on. And we're going to talk about five of the things that you can actually do right now using Google's REST API uh, inside of Google Cloud and able to actually use this, this for yourself as well uh, if you want to do some research or, or kind of go deeper into the process. But maybe if you're not a programmer or you really don't want to go that deep but you want to understand what's going on, this will help you better understand what's actually happening behind the scenes. So what it can do is, is first it can do syntax analysis. So it can actually break down the structure of sentences, content, and understand what the content is, you know, what's a verb, where, where the adverbs are, understanding the syntax of how the sentence was written, uh, and kind of understanding how, how the, the formation of uh, the content was, was made. And this is really important because now it's understanding, is this really a well-written piece of content? Did this person use the right grammar? What kind of audience would this be appropriate for based on understanding the syntax of that sentence. It also has the ability to do entity recognition. So this is an image. It also has the ability to go, okay, what's in this image? This is a video, what's in this video? Now NLP allows, with the leveraging of big data, to understand these entities like never before. You know, they're starting to understand text inside of images, understanding what actually is that image without having to put an alt tag or a title tag. These are things that we've done a long time in the history of you know, search that now we're having computer machine learning do a lot of this for us. Sentiment analysis. Now this is a big one. This is going to try to understand uh, the, the feelings behind the content. What's the emotion behind the content? They're using this a lot in reviews. Is this a positive review or a negative review or a neutral review? Is this a strong negative review or a kind of a mediocre negative review? Is this a strong positive piece of content or just kind of, you know, not really one side or the other? So this sentiment analysis is really important, especially if you're a content producer, because we want to look at how this content's impacting how people react in search, how people react with our content, and understanding are we really pulling or, or hitting those emotional triggers to help bring people into our fold, help bring people into what we're doing online. Sentiment analysis is something now that NLP is doing and looking at content and saying, is this content emotionally appealing? Now that's a very powerful thing when we start to talk about search, we start to talk about digital marketing and content marketing. It's also being able to do content classification. So it's being able to read content and say, well, this is a marketing piece, or this is a, an automobile piece, or this is an engineering piece. And it's gonna be able to do that now without us really having to tell it. Now, yes, we want to be, uh, continue to mark up our content and use schema, because the more data we feed Google about our piece, the better picture they're gonna have about it. But left on its own, it's doing these things. So we need to understand what's going on. And it also has multiple language support. So if your site is in multiple languages, it's going to be able to understand these things, whether it's in English, Spanish, Portuguese, whatever the other language you may be using. So what can we do as SEOs? Well, we need to write for the users. And people have been saying this for years, but a majority of people still don't do it. They go, I have a blog just because I need to have fresh content. If the only reason you're posting is to have fresh content, but you're not really putting time into good content, stop posting. Stop posting, 
rethink your strategy and write for the users. Understand their pain points, understand their needs, understand what they want, and then deliver that to them. And if you can't do it, find somebody who can. That's, that's a really important tip. Don't just add noise to add noise. Context is king. Make sure that your, 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 your content makes sense within the context of the people reading it. Don't just throw stuff at them because you think that they need to know it. Again, don't just publish noise. Google's really focusing on how can we feel what the user's feeling? How can we understand the emotional sediment that they have going into a search and then deliver the most emotionally appropriate response? Now, that may seem crazy, and it's not going to be perfect all the time, but that's what they're trying to do. And as, as content marketers, as digital marketers, as SEOs, it's our job to give people the best experience possible, to deliver the best piece of information possible, the most truthful information possible. And if you do those things and you slow down your process to take time to write better content, to create a better web experience, to do better images, have better video, you're going to give better information to the algorithm, which is then going to hopefully give you better results. So this is just the tip of the iceberg, and we're gonna be doing a lot more studies in NLP and machine learning to understand how we can leverage it to be better marketers online. If you've got any questions, please comment below. We would love to have you as part of, our, of the conversation, as part of our community, so please subscribe. And until next time, happy marketing. Bye.